Long range forecast for the Illinois House. Hot. Bill, Representative. He, he, he wants this bill. Members, right members, members, members. Hot, sprinkled with a drought of patience. It expires. It goes away on August 1st. The budget is out of balance. The budget is out of balance. Democrats pushing for a 30-day temporary budget that could provide a ray of hope for state employees to be paid on time next week. When will you step up to the plate and reflect the values that your constituents sent you here to reflect? Minority Republicans trying to make a splash with their own bill to pay state employees for next year. Not a bill that's lumped with a bunch of other stuff that doesn't help the state of Illinois, but a bill that pays the state employees for what they are doing. Dripping with sarcasm, House Speaker Mike Madigan frequently says Governor Rauner is extreme. Representative Bill Mitchell calls the Republican budget fix reasonable. Not in the extreme, moderate. Let's do it. Democrats ignoring dark clouds over their bill with the threat of a governor's veto. He will do the right thing and he will affix his signature right to thing it would as quickly as he gets the bill. The Republican bill blocked. The Democrats' temporary bill passes. The governor likely to create a storm with his veto pen. It's a wall of defense. Hundreds of volunteers, sand, sandbags, all trying to prevent the river from coming into the business area of downtown Petersburg. It's hand to sand combat. I'm just doing my part, helping the community out. A community coming together, drawing a line in the sand to stop the flooding Sangamon River. Like it's not just Petersburg people helping, it's everyone coming together, which is really nice. A four to five foot wall, everyone keeping their eyes open for water trying to sneak through the line of defense. It's doing it all the way down. Doing it all along this wall, dude. I've never seen a flood like this worse in my, in my life so far. Like we have boat docks underwater right now. Inmates from the Department of Corrections, firefighters working their second flood this week. Yeah, I was hoping in Riverton a few days ago. That's where I'm from, Riverton, and it's flooded pretty good there too. Good thing I work out. <laughs> I can skip my workout for today at least. Sand by the truckload. Like the sands of time, not much time to get the job done. At least Petersburg's doing everything they can to help to help our, our, our great community here in Menard County. Backbreaking work, filling as many bags as possible. More than 50 I don't know, we've been down here for like four hours. Yeah. Fighting the flood. An army of volunteers to stop the floodwaters at Petersburg. Doug Wolf, WAND News. Suffering a stroke doesn't mean you have to lose your stroke. When the chips were down, Dale Jones of Decatur was determined to find a way to get people out of the rough. It started with my brother about a year and a half ago. A year and a half ago I had a stroke. Uh. He had a stroke and we spent the better part of last summer teaching him to play with one hand. While helping Ernie get back in the swing of things, Dale decided to help others bounce back, setting up a golf league with the Decatur Park District for veterans and those with disabilities. Get them up off the couch, get some uh, fresh air and sunshine, you know, and get a little, uh, little exercise. If they're a veteran, if they have a disability, they're welcome to come out. I mean, I'm paralyzed on the left side. Phil Young had his stroke four years ago. Dale gave Phil a mulligan as he starts the newest round of his life. Did you think you'd ever be able to play again? No, I didn't. That's what I told Dale. I said, I don't think I'd ever be able to play. Putting. You like to putt? Yeah, I can putt real good. Veterans and the disabled golfing without a handicap. Doug Wolf. WAND News. On a hot summer day. It certainly makes me wonder how I'm going to make my mortgage payment, I'll tell you that. State workers face the heat of potential payless paydays. 
Their contracts melt away June 30th. The next day, the state's wallet runs dry. And it's really a shame because these people provide vital services to the state each and every day. What do we want? Contract! When do we want it? Now! The Democratic legislature, Republican Governor Bruce Rauner, unable to warm up to compromise. Paychecks on the line. We're certainly hoping to be able to uh, bargain in faith, good faith beyond the expiration and, and so we can reach a fair agreement. Rauner says cut pay, we say no way. You know, people ask us, are we going to strike? Are we preparing for strike? No, we're preparing to come to work. Hoping for a thaw in relations before time runs out. But we're always willing to sit down at the table and to compromise. But it shouldn't be on the backs of state employees to fix all the state's fiscal woes. Oh, hey, hey! Ho, ho! Run the cuts, they gotta go, hey, hey! I hope and I pray that they get this figured out between the two of them. State workers hoping for the governor and legislature to cool it so they can get a leg up on a new contract. In the land of Lincoln comes the newest name in presidential politics. My name is Sherry Procaroni. Blocks from where Abe Lincoln made his first speech, Sherry Procaroni becomes the latest to dip her toe into national political waters. I am proud to announce my candidacy for President of the United States. For President of the United States on the Republican ticket. Sherry hopes to follow in Lincoln's footsteps, pointing to the rise of the unknown central Illinois lawyer rose from the heartland and served at a crisis point in America. Age 55 from Decatur, a mother of 12. I am running for president, believing America's best days can be ahead. News releases and position papers are handwritten on line paper. Others deal with a crush of media. Sherry works with a smaller crowd, not your typical politician. It would bring a freshness to the political process. An alphabet platform eliminating the IRS, the EPA, and the ACA, better known as Obamacare. Letting charity help those who are truly in need and who are more merciful and generous than government. Procaroni, a difficult name to remember. Once my name gets out, I think it will become a household word because of the principles and the ideas that I've espoused. Lincoln and Procaroni, living the American dream of running for president.